Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can apply embedded FFX presets to any of your layers in After Effects. Now before I get started, I have to say thank you to Render Tom, who's an amazing Adobe person who makes a ton of available code and helps out a ton of people. And he's the one who posted this code on uh, Bitbucket. So thank you to Render Tom. Link for this will be in the description and make sure you follow him as he's amazing. Now, normally you could apply an FFX preset, the same as saying apply animation preset, with an After Effects script by saying uh, layer.apply preset. But because we have FFX presets that we don't want to have always external to our products, uh, we can actually create a binary string representing our FFX file. And once we run this script and apply it to one of our layers, we can then apply our FFX, which has all of these properties here, and we can also do things like change the name of it, and none of this requires installation into your After Effects files or anything else. Everything will be embedded inside of a script. So before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel, and down in the description, you can check out the code for this. Again, the Render Tom link, because he provided this amazing code. Uh, make sure you follow him. Follow us on GitHub for coding updates and Instagram for other live updates. And you can also follow me on AE Scripts to help support me there as well. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us financially and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. The link in the description. So I'm going to briefly go over how Render Tom's code works, and then I'm going to show you how you can get this uh, FFX binary information and embed as many FFX files into your After Effects as possible. Now, all this is basically is, we have a definition here called my pseudo effect data. And this contains, uh, is an object which contains a name, in this case, the example scribe, the match name, which we can get quite easily, and the binary, which is spit out from a certain operation. Um, so you want to make sure the name name here is whatever you want it to be called. Sometimes when you apply this, it does not apply the name. So after we apply it, we'll manually change the name. Uh, the match name does need to match your FFX. So before you can embed this, you want to figure out the match name of your FFX file once it's applied and the binary we're about to get. After we have this object called pseudo effect data, we're going to uh, run render Tom's function called apply pseudo effect. And with apply pseudo effect, we're going to take our pseudo effect data, which we just had this object, as well as provide it the effect parade of our effects property. Uh, what this is, is we're going to choose a layer. And we're going to send as an argument, this FX area, the Adobe FX parade is what contains all the uh, sort of effects on your layer uh, that are in this section here that you apply. They're all inside of here, so we're going to pass that as an argument as well. Uh, then render Tom's function will do the rest and apply uh, the uh, FFX and then change the name if we want to as well. So all we need to do now is copy and paste this code. Uh, I'll go ahead and copy and paste from pseudo effects data to the bottom. And we'll go ahead and paste that in here. Now, I have all of his code that he used. I'm gonna change a, a couple of the names. Now I'm working on a bit of a, uh, a similar project right now that requires this process. So I'm going to use the FFX file from that. It's called Blinky. Again, the name doesn't matter, but here's the pseudo effects uh, name for it or the match name for it. And now we just need to get the binary. If you've seen my tutorials before and have seen a tutorial about how to get uh, binary data out of an image and sort of embed that into your script, use the exact same process for that. Now in my binary image encoder script, which is currently in paste bin for some reason, uh, we're going to copy and paste this code here to extract the data we need. I'll go ahead and create a second script here. We'll call this uh, get binary file data. We should probably honestly upload this. Uh, let's make it .jsx. Let's clean this up here. I'll go ahead and upload this uh, with the code actually. So you can have render Tom's code as well as this get binary file data. So everything's in one location. So we need to modify this to get our FFX file. Mine is on my desktop. It's called blinky.ffx. And we're actually gonna set that equal to our file. 
uh, we're just going to say f is equal to the f of x file. Um, we're going to set the encoding of it to binary. So when we open it, we can get the binary information. We're going to read the information to the source, and then we're going to create an output file, which we will put on our desktop um, binary output txt and then we'll go ahead and now that I've run that I'm going to go to my desktop and load my binary output you can see we have a new string and then this giant string which usually starts with rifx if your string ends with a bunch of weird stuff it doesn't have this simple x00 and then end quote end parentheses make sure you just get this last part which has x00 sometimes there's a bunch of metadata that you don't need so just make sure it ends with that We'll copy and paste everything here in the double quotes. Go into our script and we'll paste it in the section where the previous code was located. Now I can go ahead and save this and see why we're getting an error. We have two double quotes at the beginning and that should be good. Now all we should have to do is run our function to get this to work. Looks like we have another error. Let's go to the bottom here. We have double quotes again double double quotes. We have our pseudo effect here, which is going to be applied and our effects property that's undefined. For that, we're going to say app.project.activeItem.selectedLayers0. So we're going to run apply pseudo effect, which takes our pseudo effect data here, which has our FFX information and our pseudo name or sorry, match name. And we also are going to give it our selected layer, we're going to assume there's one selected layer, and the effect parade. If we refer to Tom's original script, uh, we just need to grab Adobe Effect Parade. That's the match name for it. And put it in like that. Now, all we should have to do is run this. So I'm going to remove my FFX from this layer. Go ahead and F1 and run this. Let's see, we've applied blank pseudo effect. What it means is we have applied our pseudo effect, but there is no name for some reason. Um, I don't know if that's just a glitch in how it works in newer versions of After Effects. I see in the code that it tries to change the name of this FFX, but because it doesn't, we can do it manually. So what we'll do is say uh, app.project, we'll grab this selected layer again. And in this case, since we know it's the first uh, effect being applied, we'll say effect one dot name is equal to my FFX name. Now, if we go ahead and undo our last operation, run this, you can see applied FFX name pseudo effect, and now we've actually changed the name of it. If this needs to be a certain name, make sure you name it appropriately, but you sometimes do have to go back in after the fact and change that name. So, just to recap, how do you apply? Uh, an embedded FFX preset with a script. Firstly, you want to take render Tom's uh, apply pseudo effect function, which contains all the relevant code to easily apply it without any issue. Then you want to run the binary image encoder on any FFX file you have and gather this giant string that it spits out, usually starting with RIFX. You also want to get the match name, which you can easily access by simply saying layer.effect1.matchName. And then you can simply run all the code together and get your FFX embedded into your script and apply to any layer you want. Again, the links for both of these will be in the description down below, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, hit the thumbs up button down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel and down in the description. Again, you can check out all the code for this. Follow RenderTom, follow me, check out my Instagram for live updates, AE scripts to help support me in other ways. And if you're not already a member of our Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. Thanks again for watching, we'll see you next time.